This has been a really difficult balance for businesses, trying to figure out how to make money while keeping their customers safe during the pandemic. And while this new executive order does ease some of those restrictions, the owners I talked to say they don't feel comfortable changing much just yet. We're not changing anything because for me, safety is most important, and I just want to ensure that whoever walks through these doors feels protected. Joy Christina Huffman owns CNC Social House, a members only bar in the Sweet Auburn area. Under the governor's new order, businesses like hers are no longer required to maintain six feet of distancing. The order also lifts restrictions on the size of gathering, enforcement of the remaining restrictions, and no longer requires the vulnerable to shelter in place. While Huffman says the new order is a relief, she doesn't want to change much yet. West Holland is the general manager of the refinery gym in West Midtown, and he agrees. I think once we get into the majority of people being vaccinated, uh, now that it's becoming available to pretty much everyone, and I think in the next couple of months, once, once that happens, I think we can start to make some more changes. As of today, they stopped doing temperature checks at the gym and also opened up the capacity. Joey Ward, the owner of Southern Bell Restaurant, is doing the same. I'm excited as a business owner to be able to make that decision, and I have the luxury of having the space to continue spacing out. I understand that that's not the case for all businesses, so everyone has to do what they have to do, but for us, it makes the most sense to just continue doing what we've been doing. All three business owners say they'll be relieved when things are back to normal, but this doesn't feel over yet. On the one hand, I feel very excited and invigorated, but on the other hand, I have a lot of mixed emotions, a little bit of fear of what that would look like. And it's not just businesses that are struggling to readjust as those restrictions ease. Long-term care facilities are also trying to figure out how to allow visitors in but keep their residents safe. 